Hey everyone, it's Rajiv and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving my book review of this really wonderful, creepy, Halloween-like middle grade novel called Small Spaces by Catherine Arden. Before I start talking about the book, I would like to say that I post book-related reviews and videos regularly in my channel. So if you enjoy watching this video, then please do like and subscribe. The story revolves around this 11-year-old girl named Ollie who loses someone very close to her in life. So she buries herself in books and in stories to cope up with the grief and loss. One day she sees this hysterical woman who is crying by the river and the woman is about to throw a book in the river. So without thinking, Ollie takes the book from her and runs away. When Ollie comes home with the book, she starts reading it immediately and the story in the book is about this woman named Beth and what happens to her and the story also contains this character called the smiling man who grants wishes to people but at a very deadly price. Ollie gets very engrossed in the book and she wants to continue reading it even when their class goes on this field trip to this place called Smoke Hollow and this place also has a haunting history behind it. What Ollie doesn't realize is that the book that she is reading is going to collide with the reality of the place that she is in. And the smiling man is someone who is in person who wants to take over their class for his own plans. So the smiling man takes control of their class and it is up to Ollie and her two classmates, Brian and Coco, to figure out what is happening and to make things normal again. I received an advanced e-copy of this book from the publishers and I absolutely loved reading it. Even though it's targeted for younger readers, I personally got creeped out in a few of the scenes myself, especially when Ollie meets the crazy woman by the river or when she starts talking to the creepy bus driver or even when Ollie and her friends come across all the scarecrows and wonder what is up with them. The story does not rely very much on the gory details because there is no gore as such but it is very creepy and atmospheric and that is what makes it such a fun read. Reading this book really gave me that old nostalgic feeling of the 90s of watching those TV shows like Are You Afraid of the Dark? or the Goosebump series. In fact, what surprised me was that even though I've grown up reading books similar to Small Spaces, there were some twists and turns in Small Spaces that I just did not see coming and it made me go, what did that just happen? But the main part which I actually did not see coming at all was when Ollie figures out who the smiling man is and when he is revealed to the readers as well. Coming to the characters, I loved all the three main characters. I thought they were unique, different, enduring, charming, witty, and a very unlikely trio who, when you initially start reading, you don't think they are going to get along well at all, but they actually blend in very well together. I also liked how they gradually started to interact with each other and eventually became very good friends. In fact, even though the plot is so good and the storyline is so well written, at times the characters were more engaging than the plot itself that I was focused more on the characters' reactions than to what would happen to them. I think I liked Coco more than anyone else because of how upbeat she is and how she has such a positive personality in life and how she wants to continue doing things even though she does not get any support from others. I also loved Ollie's dad in the story because he was written in such a realistic and human-like manner with a lot of faults and traits but who is trying to do his best and even though we don't see him much in the story I thought he was represented very well. I thought Brian was okay and I think he was my least favorite of the three when comparing it to the others because he just felt very ordinary and very stereotypical and there was just nothing very unique about him. But I know there is a book too coming out in this series so I'm very excited to read more about Brian and Coco and Ollie together again. The author has also done a very nice job in trying to cover a few relevant and important topics for younger readers in a very subtle manner in the story. She talks about how people cope with grief and loss and how some people People need their own time and their own space to get over it. It also touches upon bullying and how you should stand up to people to do what you think is right even if you are not friends with them 
and if you are kind and if you are nice to people even if you don't think you will get along well with them it might actually blossom into a really nice friendship i also enjoyed the author's style of writing a lot and i thought it was interesting how she wrote the story within a story when ollie reads the book and reads about beth's life i have not read any of catherine arden's previous novels but after finishing this book I really want to pick out the Winter Night trilogy and start reading that as well. Overall, I love reading small spaces and would give it a definite 5 out of 5 star rating and I would recommend it to anyone who wants to read a good Halloween creepy but fun novel. Have you read this book or any of the author's other books and if you have what did you think about it? Please do share your thoughts and comments on the section below and again if you enjoyed watching this video then please do like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and until next time bye.